Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got another reaction video today. We're going to be checking out Niango Star. Now, if you're not familiar with who Niango Star is, he is a mascot in Japan that also plays metal music in areas that you wouldn't think metal music would really belong. Niango Star made the rounds um, kind of as a trending topic a little while back. Uh, a lot of musicians and drummers were doing reaction videos to, um, I believe the video was playing metal at a um, kid show or something to that effect. It was pretty incredible to see just what Niango was doing as far as playing metal music, but in a full mascot costume. So... Considering what it takes to play fast music using your smaller muscle groups like your fingers and your ankles, you have to scratch all that off if you're in a suit like that. So obviously, whoever is wearing that suit underneath is one hell of a drummer. So as far as Niango Star, he is, according to the website we got here, uh, the kids should see this dot com. The character performs around Japan as a mascot for the city of Kuroishi in Aomori Prefecture, a region known for their apples. So he's like a apple cat, I guess. According to the Niango Star website, our hero is part cat, part apple, and all metal. And if you think the name Niango Star sounds a bit like the drummer Ringo Star, drummer for the Beatles, you'd be right. So Nian is the Japanese onomatopoeia for meow. So literally right on the nose with that. Now... In Japan, there is this importance for mascots, like with businesses and with other cultural and uh, agricultural type endeavors over there that you don't typically see over here in Western culture, at least not in the same sense that the Japanese have. So according to Fluent U, and I'll, I'll link these websites in the description if you want to read more into them. Um, it says, not only do mascots help promote re regional tourism, but they also educate an otherwise detached audience about local culture and community. So it, it brings uh, attention and presentation to whatever it is that they're trying to advertise in a very fun and creative kind of way. So with all that backstory out of the way, we're going to check out the video. It's titled, When You Play Deathcore at a Kid's Concert, and this was uploaded by George Collier. So of course, I'll link the original video in the description. Immediately, right from the initial shot, there's already, um, the, the drum parts are already written out in the sheet music, so I guess if you ever wanted to follow along and play for yourself. The lyrics already are kind of funny. If it weren't for the sheet music, you wouldn't even know that was coming. <laughs> These lyrics. So the funniness of the lyrics aside, music like this that kind of starts off real easy, it almost has a reggae vibe to it, but music like this that's kind of easygoing but yet has intense parts like this, this isn't really too far-fetched when it comes down to, um, to music over there. Uh, something like double bass is something that you'll hear in music that is much more uh, softer and subdued like chords and harmonics wise, but it'll still have like this intensity with the percussion elements in the background and that's just a normal regular part of of how some of the music is composed over there Head boppage. <laughs> I 
it's hilarious because the lyrics are funny, but there's some real stuff going on here in the message. It's it's cold from underneath the blanket. You don't want to have to get up out of bed. Feel the same kind of thing like when it's time to wake up for work and you're just like, you know what? I don't want to get up. It's cold out of my blanket. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to leave my blanket. I don't want to or I don't want to leave from the bed and <laughs> so funny, but true stuff here. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, don't take what Niango Star is doing for granted. Everything that he has to do for his uh, playing technique has to be all wrist and all leg motion in order to do it, which makes playing even at this tempo that much more impressive. Such bravery for getting out of the food. three, I guess. So, this was a funny video, but at the same time, I feel like Niango is my spirit animal in a way. <laughs> wow. Well, in any case, guys, if you enjoyed the video and got a little bit of educational information about just what is Niango Star, um, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you don't mind, please hit the bell notification too if you do subscribe. That way, my videos, when they pop up, don't get buried and lost uh, underneath all of your other great subscriptions that you have. So in any case, guys, that's going to be it. And yeah. I will catch you guys on the next one later on.